Hey, bungees and fun bees. Bzz, 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 everybody, my name is John and welcome to ADITW, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Hey. We are flying through our study of the Gospel of John, but today we're making a little bit of a pit stop in chapter 6. If you've been following this study, you know that we have been highlighting the seven signs and seven sayings of Jesus in the Gospel of John. And so far, John has been kind enough to sort of spread out those signs and sayings, you know, pretty much one per chapter. Well, that all ends today, friends. Here in John chapter 6, we read about two more signs or miracles of Jesus, and we get our first I am statement from Jesus. And so rather than try and cram all of those into one video, we're going to take a pit stop here in chapter 6 over the next three weeks and talk about each of these passages individually. So without further ado, let's begin by reading John chapter 6 verses 1 through 15. So here we read about yet another miracle from our boy Jesus. And this one's a pretty famous one. Like, this would definitely be on Jesus' greatest hits album. The Feeding of the 5,000. And let me just say, I love a good miracle, and I also love a good meal. So a miracle that has to do with food, that's like... So, in this passage, Jesus and his disciples are presented with a problem. They have a crowd of hungry people, and they don't have enough food to feed that crowd with. This is my wife and mother-in-law's worst nightmare at every family party that we throw, and so they just overshop every time. However, in this instance, it would seem that the disciples don't quite have the gift of hospitality that the women in my family do, and so they start to brainstorm. And the best solution that they can come up with is to borrow, aka steal. They take the lunch of a small boy who has about five loaves of bread and two fish. And Jesus' disciple Andrew kind of calls it like it is in verse 9 when he says, but how far will they go among so many? And isn't this exactly how so many of us feel about the good that we try and do in our lives? Don't you kind of look at the problems of the world and just feel powerless to do anything about them? Maybe you've noticed that there's a big bullying problem at your school and there's a bunch of kids that just keep getting made fun of. And you want to do something, but then you tell yourself, well, I'm just one person. Maybe you hear that your church is raising money to help fight injustice in the world, the water crisis, homelessness, human trafficking. But then you look at the giant number that they're trying to raise and you think to yourself, well, I don't really have a lot of money, so I probably can't make a difference. I think that so many of us get caught up only focusing on what we have and we completely forget what God is able to do. We completely forget that the God we worship is the same God that took five loaves and two fish and turned it into a meal for 5,000 people. You see, the truth is that the little you have is never too little when you give it to a big God. The truth is that God can make a big difference with your little offering. God can bring giant change through your tiny sacrifice. I think oftentimes in our culture, we get a limited idea of what real faith looks like. Oftentimes we think that real faith only looks like making some big dramatic change or decision or giving some big gift or starting some giant project that's gonna change the world. And sometimes it does look like that. But most of the time, faith simply looks like us committing to doing the little things and leaving the big things up to God. Because the truth is, just like the boy with his lunch, Jesus wants to use the little that you have to bless others abundantly. You don't need to have a lot. You simply need to give a little. And so I wonder what small offering you could bring God today. I wonder if you could find the courage to have one conversation or send one text to a friend or someone you know who's going through a difficult time. I wonder if you could make a commitment to pray to God for five minutes a day 
and trust that God is going to multiply that time to make a big difference. I wonder what small thing you could bring to God or, or what small action you could take today. And if Jesus is truly able to take five loaves and turn them into 5,000, then I just wonder what he could do through your offering, no matter how small. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of ADITW. If you liked it, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tune in next week because we have a big announcement coming. That's all I have for you. I love you all. Keep being awesome.